In the endless expanses of space, we see the most mysterious phenomena again and again. However, we don't necessarily have to travel to a distant celestial body to encounter mysterious effects, legendary lights, and sensational natural spectacles. The strangest events can be observed even on our home planet. This is also the case with the fascinating blue lights that occasionally dance like ghostly shadows through the stratosphere. For a long time, this phenomenon posed a great mystery to scientists. What it is, and what other astonishing spectacles are happening in the universe right now, we'll reveal to you here. We hope you enjoy this exciting topic. Would you like to see more fascinating videos on the topic of outer space? Then subscribe to our channel so that you'll never miss any of our contributions in the future. If you like our content, we'd love a thumbs up. At the end of today's video, take a look at the post that we'll link to in the credits. Now let's get to the bottom of the fabled blue flashes. Mysterious Flashes of Light in the Stratosphere Tornadoes, snowstorms, monsoons, the numerous weather effects on our planet are as fascinating as they are powerful. In a matter of minutes, they make us realize the unbridled power of nature. Without a doubt, lightning is one of the most impressive spectacles that the weather has to offer us. Even though a thunderstorm is really nothing unusual. Each of us has witnessed at least once how a crashing electric charge from the realm of the clouds has hit the earth. The thunder that accompanies this spectacle is no less impressive than the preceding lightning. However, many different kinds of lightning exist on our planet. One very special phenomenon quickly became the center of scientific interest in the past. The legends about glistening blue light flashes in the stratosphere, which discharge within milliseconds and disappear only moments later, could not be proven for a long time. Finally, however, NASA succeeded in capturing this unique event on camera. The existence of the so-called blue jets was finally confirmed beyond doubt. But one big mystery remained. Why do these amazing flashes of light behave so differently from their counterparts? In fact, the blue light beams turn the usual lightning pattern completely upside down. Since blue jets are always moving away from the Earth's surface, it's extremely difficult to study them from a terrestrial vantage point. Equipped with the most advanced measuring instruments of our time, the International Space Station has been observing the blue light flashes for several years. In 2018, the ISS finally pulled off a major victory, recording in detail five blue jets that erupted from an imposing thundercloud. The images look like something out of a futuristic science fiction movie, and show us once again what incredible spectacles exist in the universe. The Mystery of Blue Jets Thanks to these sensational images, research into the mysterious blue jets has been further intensified. Experts currently suspect that the bluish flashes of light occur when a positively charged cloud layer collides with a negatively charged layer. In interaction with the layer of air above it, a kind of upward channel would thus form. Through this tunnel, the electric charge could shoot up toward the stratosphere. Despite this, the study of the incomparable flashes of light is still in its infancy. What we know so far is that blue jets mostly form at an altitude of 24 miles above the Earth's surface. Afterwards, the bright flashes clamber up to 15 miles into the air until they finally dissipate again after fractions of a second. The so-called elves, which often accompany the blue jets, are also waiting to be studied in more detail in the future. These are unique formations that expand in a ring shape and disappear from the scene again after only a millisecond. Researchers assume that the objects are generated in the course of electromagnetic pulses in the ionosphere. The Self-Destructive Asteroid let us now take a look together at some other, no less fascinating phenomena in the universe. Among them is a curious event recorded by the Hubble Space Telescope in 2013. 
More precisely, it was asteroid P-2013 R3, which began to disintegrate on its own for no apparent reason. The fact that such an object would be blown into many pieces when it collided with another structure has long been known among scientists. But in the case of the observed asteroid, what led to the fact that it disintegrated, as if by a ghostly hand? What seems at first sight like galactic self-destruction mode is actually explained by the experts with the radiation power of the sun. In fact, the intensity of the radiation is said to have become so strong over time that the asteroid went off course. As a result, the object's rotational speed continued to increase until its mass could no longer withstand the forces acting on it. P-2013 then broke into 10 pieces, each weighing more than 200,000 tons. The Venus Transit When the planet Venus passes in front of the Sun, it's called Venus Transit in the technical world. When this happens, Venus appears like a small black object in front of the glistening silhouette of the Sun. This is not only an impressive, but also extremely rare event, at least from our terrestrial point of view. Due to the relation of the Earth's orbit to the orbit of Venus, the spectacle could only be observed four times in 243 years. If you missed the last Venus transit on June 6, 2012, we unfortunately have bad news. It will take until December 2117 before we can see the next Venus transit from Earth. Blue Moon You've almost certainly heard of the glistening red Blood Moon. When the Sun, the Earth, and the Moon are in a straight line in relation to each other, the Earth satellite shines in a rich red due to the prevailing light filtering. However, have you ever heard of this so-called blue moon? This rare event occurs only every two and a half years. Strictly speaking, the term is somewhat misleading. In truth, the term blue moon does not describe a blue-colored moon, but rather a second full moon within a month. However, there are some phenomena that can cause the Earth's satellite to appear strikingly bluish in the firmament. These include the effects of forest fires and volcanic eruptions. Total Solar Eclipse When the Moon moves between the Earth and the Sun, it can partially or even completely obscure the central fixed point of our planetary system. This effect is caused when the shadow of the illuminated Moon falls on the Earth. The phenomenon can only occur during a new Moon. Subsequently, the Earth is plunged into total darkness for a few minutes. While partial solar eclipses are comparatively common, a total solar eclipse is an equally rare and exciting event. The last total solar eclipse in Europe was on August 11, 1999. On September 3, 2081, the shadow of the Moon will again briefly turn the day into a dark night. Three-time lunar eclipse on Jupiter A solar or lunar eclipse is already an amazing spectacle when seen from Earth. Imagine now if this phenomenon took place in threefold. In fact, this is the case in irregular intervals on the planet Jupiter. This triple eclipse is produced by the Galilean moons Callisto, Europa, and Io. The Hubble Space Telescope has already succeeded in capturing this unique spectacle in the past. However, we can only guess at this point in time how this spectacle must appear when viewed from Jupiter's planetary surface. According to calculations, the next triple lunar eclipse on the largest planet in our solar system will occur in 2032. Halley's Comet Some might call Halley's Comet a long-time galactic friend of the Earth that pays a visit to our blue home planet every now and then. The object orbits the Sun about every 75 years, so it can subsequently be observed from our terrestrial vantage point in that time frame. Incidentally, the comet owes its name to Edmund Halley. The last time we saw the amazing comet was in 1986. 
so it will be 2061 before we see it again. It is believed that many people of past civilizations also observed the comet regularly. The Leonids Whoever gazes up at the constellation Leo around November 17th has a good chance of seeing the fabled meteor stream of the Leonids. The source of this galactic spectacle is the comet Temple Tuttle. As the massive structure makes its orbit around the Sun, it loses countless fragments. These debris are mainly particles of rock and dust. Every year, our blue home planet crosses the orbit of Temple Tuttle. Afterwards, the lost particles of the comet race into our terrestrial atmosphere, where they can be observed as the Leonid meteor stream. Within a few hours, more than 12 tons of comet particles fall to the Earth's surface. Globular Star Clusters There are more than 150 areas in the Milky Way where so-called globular clusters are found. These are densely populated regions in which sometimes hundreds of thousands of the sparkling celestial bodies are located. In the center of a globular cluster, we find the most stars, while the distances between the formations become larger and larger towards the edge. A few years ago, researchers discovered an area that most likely represents the earliest stage of a future globular cluster. Experts want to continue observing the formation in the antennae galaxies in order to gain even more precise knowledge about the birth of stars. White Patches on Jupiter For many decades, astronomers didn't know why Jupiter's surface was regularly adorned by giant white patches. Today it is certain that this is the result of violent storms. These occur about every 30 years in the northern regions of the planet. Then, ammonia-containing clouds send thunderous storms crashing onto the surface. The size of the storm area corresponds to half the diameter of the Earth. Researchers assume that the Jupiter storms are 10,000 times more violent than terrestrial thunderstorms. Which galactic phenomenon surprised you the most? We look forward to your comments. Thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time.